Hello everyone, my name is Ariana Crame and I will be talking about the book The Glass Castle in my theoretical assessment of the family issue and what I would talk about in my intervention with the Walls family. I focus on the time period in Jeanette's life when she lived in Welch. Rex and Rosemary are the parents of Jeanette, Lori, Brian, and Maureen. Jeanette and her siblings used to be optimistic children excited to be adventuring the world. That all changed when they got to Welch. They learned how to take care of themselves and how their parents are not as fun as they used to think they were. Using the conflict theory to analyze the Walls family, it is safe to say that the Walls family went through years and years of conflict with one another. A basic assumption that is used to analyze the Walls family is the nature of humans is that they are self-oriented. It can be assumed that people are self-oriented and focused on their own self-interests. Rex was always focused on drinking or gambling, Rosemary was only focused on herself and her art. They left their children to be living in terrible living conditions with barely any food. Whenever Rex earned money, either from his jobs or gambling, he would spend most of it on booze. He never saved it for the family. Once Rosemary started working and would bring home paychecks for food and the bills, Rex would always steal it and run to the bars or gamble it away. The two categories that conflict is categorized as is internal and external. Internal conflict originates from the social, inside the social system. In the family system, one can suppress their conflict, which makes negative emotions accumulate and deepen. External conflict is created from outside someone's social system. Jenna and her siblings are battling an internal conflict with their parents. They are also battling an external conflict because they never had enough money for bills, clothes, food, or even a toilet. When Jeanette and her siblings got older, they should have come together to express their problems and concerns to their parents about their well-being in hopes of making their parents see how hard and unsafe their living conditions were. When people discuss and negotiate their conflicts, people gain a new understanding for one another. When considering the social exchange theory, Jeanette and her siblings are always sacrificing so much for their parents. When Jeanette has to be head of the household, she was still a teenager, which is something no teenager should have to do. Rex begged her for money, and Jeanette needed that money for food and groceries. A basic assumption of the social exchange theory that can be used to analyze the Walls family is people are motivated by self-interest. Rex was always thinking about himself. The money he earned would go to booze, and he would barely bring home food or pay the bills on time. Lori, Jeanette, and Brian all started saving money for Lori to make her big move to New York City, but someone stole the money from their piggy bank. Rex swore he didn't do it, but no one believed him. A father should not be stealing from his own children. He should be supporting them. For the family systems theory, a circular casualty is the idea that there are a number of sources moving in different directions. During a fight, two people going in a loop Two people keep going in a loop and that makes it hard for them to figure out why they started fighting in the first place so the problem never gets resolved. The Walls family had to deal with a circular casualty of never having enough food and never having money for new clothes. After Rosemary got a job at the Welch School, she made enough for bills, groceries, and even a little extra for the some necessities the children needed but by the end of the month the money had always run out before it should have. Jenna and her siblings had to get jobs at a young age to buy themselves food or anything else they may need. The Walls family needs an intervention to help them change their life. Rex and Rosemary should be informed about how positive parenting is a potential protective factor for vulnerable children who have experienced homelessness. Rex and Rosemary need to be informed about how the social exchange theory in order to make a relationship work, there needs to be an equal amount of rewards as well as cost. Jeanette and her siblings are not being rewarded by having their parents not be there for them. After Brian was molested by Irma, their grandma, Jeanette deduces that Rex was molested as a child, which causes childhood trauma for him that stuck with him that he has not worked through yet. He had a traumatic childhood and it affected him and, ha and it affected how he is as a parent. The trauma needs to be addressed and worked through as well as all of the Walls children's trauma. Rex should also be referred to a good rehab program to help him overcome his alcoholism. He should also attend AA meetings to make sure he stays on track. Rex and Rosemary also need to be taught about money management because they never save their money for necessities. 
Since the walls do not have easy access to a computer or internet, after the intervention they can be sent readily accessible print materials to keep them informed and motivated to stay on track for a better life. These are the two references I use in this presentation. Thank you for listening.